Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. Did you find the astrolabe? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odours. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Bit of good luck. That's all. I'm not lucky. I'm simply better than you. I'm afraid I've decided to keep them. That'll teach you to stink up your classmates. What? You'd keep my prize collection for yourself? Yes. Find his keepers, I'm afraid. I knew it. You're just as bad as everyone else. I hate this school. But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Find us keepers, Grace. Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with an elder to see who's a more infuriating know-it-all. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. But no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Undermining the headmaster and getting something in return. Continue. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Now that I think about it, Puffskeen Dunkeen, I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You can't be serious. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it. it. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. Now people think you're a competition. <sighs> I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <sighs> Can't say no to that. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! I quite like the idea of an authentic Mermish artifact. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? Why would you do that? That gift was a gesture of goodwill, a symbol of hope. I was going to show it to the Ministry. If you really wanted this, then perhaps you should have fetched it yourself. She's only the single greatest Depulso Master of all time. She was just good at casting a spell. No wonder I've never heard of her. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Ugh, that's not... You must have cheated, you... Ugh. Fine. You won. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. 
I don't want respect from the likes of you. I'm afraid I don't find puzzles that engaging. I don't need extra work to become a better flyer. I would not assign you work that I did not believe was beneficial to you. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? You should be able to take care of yourself. I'm not giving you anything. How cruel! Calling me a liar? I don't need the help of someone so rude. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? You were right about how spectacular it is. Which is why it's a pity you didn't find it yourself. You double-crossing cur. After all, the future's mine for the taking. And I shall take what I must. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. Perhaps it was your dealings with Froopers that led you to the precarious idea of stocking Diracles. Oh, you are well and cheeky, aren't you? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. Beets for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not certain I needed all the extra assignments. And I'm certain you would not have been as successful without them. I trust you were meticulous in your efforts? Well, I don't know about meticulous, but I did as I was asked. I'd advised doing more than the bare minimum if you want to hone your skills as quickly as possible. Actually, we do know the number. 632. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. If you were that good, I can't believe a bit of bad luck could end your entire Quidditch career. I was excellent. My ability on a broom had nothing to do with what happened. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I think Biscuit will be safer with me, Garnef. What? No. You can't take my Biscuit from me. Biscuit is clearly not safe with you, and I know how to protect her. Perhaps Ramrock was right about wizard kind. Always thinking yourself superior to others. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. Should never have trusted you. Should never have trusted them. You'll all be sorry when I learn some more spells. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. I just hope you haven't set relations between wizard kind and mer people back decades. May I never be so unfortunate as to cross paths with you again. Wish I'd never told you about my gobstones. I met you. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So, what? You finally scared everyone else away? That was nothing. I'm just getting started. I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting spirit wouldn't hurt you. Hello, Grace. What are you doing here? You've a nerve, speaking to me after what you did. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Whatever you say, Amit. Whatever you say. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very hey, well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. I hope you're taking good care of my priceless family astrolabe. I'm just here for someone as caught. Fine. Would be nice to take you down a peg. I assume you're ready? I'm game. Well, let's see what you're made of. Ha! Huh. Wasn't enough you kept my family astrolabe, was it? You had to beat me at Sumner's Court as well. 
There wasn't much to it. You really are insufferable. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Keeping things from gran, aren't we? I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Miss Moffat, I call Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Ah, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. That's my sweet Rococo. May I have him back? Actually, he's taken a liking to me. So I've decided to keep him. What? Well, may I have her now? Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. You may have beaten me, but your next opponent is sure to take you down a peg, which will be a joy to see. I should have faced my fears and gone after it myself. Perhaps you should have. You traitorous foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. You don't deserve to possess such an invaluable and historic outfit. Pinch Smedley's will always look upon you as a blackguard and an enemy. If a wizard can't count on someone in the wizarding community to help against goblins, what has it come to? Puffskin Dunkeen is still all I hear. Thanks for being an utter waste of time. May you never have a moment's peace with him. Better hope the wolves don't get you. You won't receive a drop of help from the likes of me. Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? Now, don't just stand there. Oh, I need to be back by cocktail hour. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? Well, I could just burn you and be done with it. I'd like to see you try. You really oughtn't have said that. Can bring up. Are you burning me? <laughs> Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. Well, they're as good as invisible to me, sir. Rotten little extortionist holding my diary hostage. What was that, Broom? Uh, nothing, sir. <laughs>